Hi guys, welcome back to the Carpenter's Arms. Sorry it's been so long, just been so busy in work and so was Max, the other side of the camera, we just couldn't get together. But now we're in 2022, we've got some new barbecue kit here, let's get on with our first cook. So we managed to get a little bit of a change around in, uh, in the Carpenter's Arms. I finally sorted out this corner, uh, sold a couple of Weber kettles, bought a Napoleon one because I can hinge the lid, and I found a company called Thuros, German barbecues. And those are what we're gonna, one of those is what we're gonna use today, the Multi King. So normally, a chicken takes about an hour and a half to roast. And it would normally take, for a chimney like this, about 20, 25 minutes to get going. So my plan is, I'm gonna see if I can cook two chickens in around an hour, because I'm gonna spatchcock them. This one is gonna be marinated with thyme, lemon, garlic, and butter underneath the skin. And this one is gonna be harissa and butter underneath the skin. That'll be prepped while the chimney is getting ready. And then hopefully they'll take about 40, 45 minutes to cook. Hopefully it'll all work nicely. To spatchcock a chicken, it's really simple. Just turn it over so you've got the backbone Take a pair of kitchen shears, just go in, cut down one side of the ribs and then cut down the other side. So there's our backbone, there's our chicken. Turn him over, put him flat on the board, break the rib carcass. Now the bird is ready for marinating. Time from the garden zest of the lemon and garlic and we're going to put that in some butter mix it up rub that all over the top of the chicken and underneath the skin and the other one just good old harissa paste with some butter same option over the top and under the skin so let's get the two marinades made so the coals are not quite white over the top yet. You don't want to use your charcoal until it's completely ashed over. So, the first bird, we're gonna uh, use the lemon, garlic, and thyme marinade. And what I want to do is get it in underneath the skin. So I've got to turn the chicken so I can get my big old mitts in underneath and just gently start to part the skin from the flesh. So get your little pinkies in there. From the time that we lit the coals, I've managed to spatchcock and marinate two birds, one with lemon, garlic and thyme, and one with harissa, both using butter as a carrier to get it in under the skin. The birds are now ready to go on the barbecue. Coals are probably another five minutes off. Time is working. I'm gonna cook these on one of my new toys. And I've got a few since we last did a video. This is one of my pride and joys. This is the Thuros Multi King. We'll probably end up doing a video just on this barbecue because you can do so much with it. I think my coals are ready. I've got my Petromax gloves so I can pick up something hot. There is a chimney directly above you. So for those of you who are thinking, what is he doing barbecuing like that inside? There's a chimney right there. And there's a set of sides which carry a rotisserie or for using as a wind deflector. I just use them in here to keep the heat in this area and to stop spit going against the walls. So the birds are on, it's 25 to 6. I'm going to guess at 40, 45 minutes because there's a fair bit of heat here and they're not too thick because we spatchcocked them. It's not like a whole bird which would normally take about an hour and a half. Let's see how we go. We'll keep an eye on the time. So I've got a problem with one of the birds. Um, I think it might be a bit fatty than the other one, and I've got a bit of flare up going on. You can see the flame underneath, which I don't really want to burn the chicken. That's the beauty of this grill, in that I can pull out the drawer, 
take the birds and get them to cook them underneath. Okay, so it's uh, it's only been about five minutes that they've been underneath the grill instead of on top. The smoke in here has really calmed down a lot. I think I need to look at my smoke extraction system a bit. Let's take them out and have a little look. Yeah, they're coming up nicely. That's now up to 45 and that one's up to 50. So it shows that the grill underneath on the Thurus Multi King with a full chimney, a large chimney of Weber briquettes is working to grill the chickens. We'll give them a bit of a basting. They're looking great. We're going to give them another 10-15 minutes, check them with a probe and see how they come out. Let's have a look, see how they're doing. We've lost a leg. But we'll stick the probe in and see how they go. Yeah, I think they're there, guys. Okay, we've finished cooking. We've let the birds rest for a good 10 minutes. Always a good thing to do. Whatever meat comes off the barbecue, let it rest. Let's give it a try. I think we'll try the the breast off the lemon and thyme first. So, there we are, I think that's gonna be hot. I'm gonna try a piece. Oh wow. It's nice and juicy. The butter's worked to keep it nice and moist. I'm happy with that. Max, you wanna try some? Please. There we are. Thank you. Oh, that is some moist chicken. And we'll try a piece off the harissa. Oh wow. Not as hot and spicy as I thought it might be for the amount of harissa, but boy is that full of flavour. I was thinking I was going to prefer the lemon and thyme, but I'm not sure. Max, tell me what you think, pal. How was that? That is beautiful. I gotta say, that Harris is the winner. Yeah? That's beautiful. And we got a guest here tonight. We got Max's fiance. So it would only be fair. Do you want to try a bit of that one or that one? This one. Go ahead, lovely. It's not too hot. That's delicious. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Well, there we are, guys. We tried two spatchcock chickens. I cooked it on the Multi King for the first time. Hopefully, you enjoyed. Hopefully, we'll get some more time in the Carpenter's Arms in the next month or two and get some videos back out to you. I think if I was doing it again, I think I might use less garlic and more lemon. I think the time was about right, but I think the garlic overpowered the lemon and the harissa. I don't think I change it at all absolutely bang on shocked me because i thought i was going to prefer the lemon one don't forget to subscribe and like hit that button see you soon take care guys